In this video, we're going to take a tour of the Comic Life iPad app. I'm going to show you how to add a new comic, how to choose a template, how to add pages, and give you a basic overview of the tools you have to work with. First of all, I have the Comic Life iPad app open, and in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to press the plus symbol to add a new comic. Then I'm going to choose Create New Comic. From here, I can either choose a blank project or I can scroll over and choose one of the templates that are available in the Comic Life iPad app. I'm going to choose Retro and I'm going to tap it to select it. And the first thing you might notice is the large red title at the top. Obviously that's the first thing you see on the first page. And then you see some boxes that look something like this one I have selected here. Those are the boxes where you put the images that you're going to use within your comic. And you also have these kinds of text boxes. You see this one here, and you see the speech bubble here. Those are simply other ways of adding text. And all of that stuff comes from this brown area at the bottom. On the far left, you see what looks like a piece of paper. That's the button you select when you want to add a new image box. Let's say you start from a blank page and you want to add a new box or image. You would simply tap it, and it shows up in the middle of the screen. Anything you tap along that box in that brown area will show up in the middle of your screen. I'm going to tap that again to delete. Or maybe I want some more text, not a speech bubble, but more text to go within the box. Tap the text tool. Again, it shows in the middle of the screen. Select it. Tap again. Hit delete. And of course you have all your speech bubbles. And the one that says lettering is your title. So I will tap the title click away right there in the middle. I'm going to tap it once, tap a second time and choose delete. And I'm saying tap, tap it once, tap it twice and all of that because tapping is very important on the iPad. There is a, a tap, there is a double tap, there's two taps and there's press and hold. So in all, you know, different apps do it in different ways. So I will talk through that as I do it. Hopefully I remember to do that every time to help you know exactly what I'm doing Sometimes it's a little difficult to see uh, since I am actually recording from an iPad onto my computer. So there's no mouse click, for example, to follow. Now in the brown area, you also see three little lines in that little tab in the middle of it. That's so you can grab that line and move this out of your way so you can continue to work on your comic. And finally, up the upper right corner, you see the eye in the circle. That's information. If I were to tap the image box and then the eye, it would give me information about that. That's, that's the whole page. I'm going to click the title, click information. It's going to give me information about the title. I can do some editing. I could change some fonts and stuff like that. You have the what looks like insert an image icon, and that icon inserts an image. And then there is the page icon which is to add another page to your comic. I, if I were to hit the plus symbol now, I get a blank page. Or I could tap on the middle tab that says template, and I could choose a page from a template. I'm not going to do that. Mine is only going to be one page so that I can just show you the tools. But no, that's how you would add those. And then, of course, the, finally, there's the layout tool. And I'm going to click away from that. And the wrench tool is something we will not be working with at the moment, so I'm going to tap away from that. So that's your basic overview of the Comic Life iPad app. If you don't own the app, you can go to plask.com, P L A S Q.com, where you can get it for your Mac, I believe the PC, and also the iPad.